An impromptu sit-in at Silvio Berlusconi's residence in Rome late last night. News of his resignation brought his opponents out onto the street to celebrate what they're calling a liberation. It's a bit like we've stormed the Bastille. For me, this really feels like a liberation, like a liberation from a dictator, from a dictatorship. The party went on late into the night, in Rome of course, but also in other Italian towns and cities. Thousands of people, most of them young, celebrating the downfall of Berlusconi. But it was all change on Sunday morning. These are Berlusconi supporters. Fewer in number, but some have travelled for miles to be here. We are convinced that Silvio Berlusconi can make a comeback. History does not end here today. But for the Italian press, the chapter is certainly over. Now it's all eyes on Mario Monti, the man most likely to succeed Silvio Berlusconi as Prime Minister. And he's got a tough job on his hands to bring Italy out of the current financial crisis. If anyone can do it, Mario Monti can do it. It will be very difficult for him, but he has a reputation. He has the respect uh, of the European institutions, the international institutions, and most of the Italian institutions. He, he is, in personal and professional terms, the antithesis of Berlusconi. And that's perhaps what most Italians are hoping for, the complete opposite of the man that was their leader on three separate occasions, a man who led the centre-right here for 17 years.